I would ask people to think very seriously about the type of locks they actually buy. Invest in good locks, pay what you can afford. We generally, as a going uh, rule, would say spend about 10% of the value of your bike on good locks. So invest in two locks. Bike has two wheels, buy two locks. Don't buy the same tile of lock because it assists someone, once they've got a method of breaching that lock, they can apply it to both locks on your bike. Make them work for this bike if they want it that bad. First one is what's called a, a D lock or a U shaped lock. So you can see the lock has gone through the frame and the wheel and it's secured the frame and the wheel to the stand. So this is a reinforced uh, cable lock, uh, cable inside reinforced steel uh, belt around it. But you want to have the through the wheel, then through the frame, and both meet around the other side and secure it to the stand. So you have the front wheel secured to the frame, and the front wheel and the frame secured to the stand. What you want is to make life difficult for a would-be thief to actually breach that lock. If they're lying on the ground, then it gives them, a, affords them a, 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 real, a strong base by which to try and breach a lock by bashing it with a hammer or with a chisel or something, so it allows them a good support. Have it above ground, you want this as tight in as you can, so there's very little movement, can, you can't drag the lock onto the ground. Similarly with the back one here, that is, there's very little movement available there at all, even to try and place something in to lever it. You want as little gap as, as possible, so you can't move the lock about or even get it on the floor or afford a levering opportunity against anything else.